Good morning, tennis fans, and welcome to day 14 of the Weston Early Riser, your ticket to great tennis with advice from top players on how to sleep, eat, move, feel, work, and play well on the road or anywhere. With Naomi Osaka defying all the odds to win her very first U.S. Open yesterday, all that's left to decide is the men's champion, and what a matchup it is. Two men who have been there before and are hungry for more. Argentina's Juan Martín del Potro facing off against Serbia's Novak Djokovic. It could be a men's final for the ages. Let's see how the combatants are feeling ahead of the big match. Eighth time into the uh, U.S. Open finals. After missing last year, what does it mean to you to be back? Well, it means the world to me since I've, you know, been through some difficult circumstances with my elbow injury and surgery earlier this year. I had plenty of success on Artware Stadium and the US Open courts over the years. So I was really looking forward to come this year and I had a great confidence boost coming into the hard courts and making history in Cincinnati and coming into New York where I always played well. I felt very confident, you know, and I, I feel like I'm playing really good tennis so far. So you've only lost two sets in this run to the finals. What would you say you're happiest with? in terms of your level? You know, I feel like in you know, opening two, three matches, uh, struggled also physically because of the, the humidity and really struggled with that. Yeah, I felt better as the tournament progressed and the uh, last three matches have, have been really good. I'm lifting my form and uh, hopefully the best tennis is yet to come on Sunday. You face Juan Martin Del Potro. You've got a pretty decent record against him. What did you learn from all of those meetings that might help you out there on Sunday? I've learned to avoid his forehand. <laughs> I mean, big serve, big forehand, obviously those are his biggest weapons and I had some, some thrilling matches against him. It's a painful loss was in uh, Rio Olympic Games. He's a great guy, I, I, I like him a lot and uh, he deserves to be where he is, number three of the world, playing tennis of his life. He's just a very lovable guy, he enjoys a lot of uh, support here in New York, so I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting match. What does it mean to you to be back here nine years later where you won your Grand Slam title? Well, of course, I didn't expect to have this kind of moments again, but I am a lucky guy having this time and I'm excited to meet uh, one more day all my fans here in New York and play another final. It will be a, a challenging for me, so I will try to enjoy the moment and see what could happen. A lot has happened since you won, but can you compare the level of play now to how you played in 2009 in that championship run? Well, I played one of my best matches ever against Roger in 2009 and that's what I have to do on Sunday. I need to play my best tennis ever if I want to win the title, but it will not be easy for me for sure, but everybody has the conditions to win, so I will try to go for that. Djokovic, you guys know each other so well, you've faced each other so many times. What can you take, what have you learned from all of that that'll help you? Well, also it will be a difficult match to me because he's friends of mine and and we both want to win the title but it will be a, a tough one he will be the favorite to win but i have my chances also with this crowd with these people everything can happen enjoy the action today and thank you for joining us throughout the 2018 u.s open on the weston early riser we hope you enjoy today's u.s open men's final and until next year stay well